A two, three, and... to another blowout episode of Cooking with Assange. Today I'm really excited because we have a special guest. My friend, food extraordinaire, food artist, Joanna. Welcome. Hi y'all. Thanks for having me, Assange. You bet. Hey Joanna, hey, before we get started, would you mind reading one of my thousands of fan mail that I did I go? Sure, no problem. All right. It's in all caps here. Hi, Assange. My name is Hugh, and I caught your egg episode. Frankly, I think it might be time to hang up the apron. I am not sure you are fit to handle any food, let alone a knife. Anyhow, stay safe. Your pal, Thank you, Janus. That was rude. Well, it's so great to have you here, Joanna. Um, I know that we shared our love of seafood, in particular, uh, this dish that you shared with me from Oklahoma. Uh, I'm really excited. Why don't you go ahead and tell the folks out there what we're going to be making today? Thank you, Sanj. We're going to be making a dish passed down five generations by my great great grandmammy. It's called blackened catfish with marmalade. And we're gonna be pairing it with this wonderful Sideshow Shiraz. Say that five times, huh? <laughs> Wait, but there's more. We're gonna do this the Oklahoma way. And we're gonna noodle that catfish right out of the waters of Green Lake. Green Lake? Yeah. Do you know that someone actually caught a 45 pound catfish right out of this very lake? Mm-hmm. I wonder if they cleaned up that sewage. Not sure. Oh, well, who cares? Why don't we go? All right. Let's get out of here. Joy, I think I got something. What's this that? is going to be a big one. Oh, it's... Oh, dang it. I think I got one. It's fighter. What you got? It's a monster. Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god, look at that. Oh, Sonia, like that's a gross. Fresh pair of undies. Wow. Actually, pretty nice and, and white. I think I. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm gonna keep these. Always use that, extra pair. That's disgusting. Oh, that's good. 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 Oh, that's Another fighter. Oh, it looks like a hair piece. It looks like a nice one. You want this, Joanna? Oh yeah, that's a good one. I'll put that on my buy nothing site. All right, you gotta keep her. So, Joanna, what is uh, noodling? Well, noodling, you stick your hand in the water and you find the catfish sitting at the bottom and then you tickle them on the nose with your fingers and that'll make him open his mouth. And then you can stick your hand in his mouth and kind of grab him by the lip and pull him out. And he might be thrashing around a bit at that point. Uh, that sounds a little dangerous for me, but you think we're gonna get one? Oh yeah, we'll get one. <laughs> All right, why don't we go ahead and let's do this. All right. I think I got something, but it's not a fish. What'd you get? Looks like someone has left some sort of artifact here. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a foot. Should we uh, take these to the lost and found? Nah, I think they'll probably come back for it. These look like they're hundreds of years old. I think someone might be coming back for these. You feeling the nose? You tickling the nose? Yeah, I think I got one. No. Oh. Are you sure? There he goes. Oh, get him. Get him. Yeah! Oh, 
Oh, here, hold him, Sanjay. Okay, while I get the bat. Hold him down. All right. Oh. oh. Are you I okay? I to hit the fish, not my head. Where am I? Do I need to call a doctor? Who are you? Oh my what God. What happened? Why is there fish on the boat? Why am I in a boat? Look at that beauty. All right. Done real good work, Joanna. Thank you. Now let's go fry this bad boy up. Wow, we really got lucky today. I was starting to get worried we wouldn't catch anything. I feel really terrible about your head, by the way. Yeah, I mean, you really did whack me, but it's okay. We it's got the right. fish. We did. Well, hey, why don't we go ahead and introduce the tools we're going to be using for this recipe. Okay, um, we're going to be using a really sharp serrated knife. We'll also need a cutting board specifically designed for fish because you don't want to get that contaminated. And then preferably a cast iron skillet to really get that iron flavor That's in the important. fish. That's important. Okay, so here's the ingredients we're gonna need for this recipe. We've got a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of very freshly ground pepper, a teaspoon of thyme, uh, two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning, and one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. Here's how I like to prepare. I like to use the prison shank method. So first, you stab them, and then you slice them open. Let's get going on this guy. <laughs> Sometimes their skin is a little thick and this method doesn't work, but it's definitely the cleanest way when it does. So method number two is gonna be the saw method, just like you're using a hacksaw. So just in and out. There, yeah, we got that open. What is this? Hmm. I'm gonna pretend we didn't see that. Sometimes you'll hit a bone. You gotta... There we go. I think I got him open. Next, we're gonna cut the head off and then save that to use as our centerpiece later when we plate the food. Usually you can pick them up and just snap them like this. This guy's pretty tough though. So sometimes you gotta switch it up. This will be probably more appropriate for the saw method anyways. Oh yeah, I can hear it now. And there you go. Joanna, great job with the head. Thanks, Sanj. I gotta admit, that was a little bit tougher than I thought it was gonna be. That looked really tough. Uh, what do you say you get your hands dirty and help out uh, with the rest of it? I don't know. What, what do I gotta do? I'll walk you through it. We're gonna use something called the butterfly method. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Look, I didn't want to say anything. Feeling okay? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little flush now that you mention it. Alright, just checking. Looks like you're turning a little red. Oh, yeah, maybe a little. I don't know what that's about. Do you want to stop? Um, well, like I said, why don't you take over for a little bit? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Well, Alright, Joanna, so what am I going to do here? Uh, just take the knife of your choice and stick it in the side of the spine there and just work your way down. Kind of like this? Yeah, just like that. Yeah, It'll is, take some doing. This is really difficult. What is it? It's like someone, 
It's like sawing into a brick. You know, they're, they're tough little guys <laughs> on the outside, but that meat is so tender and so worth it. Yeah. It's going to be worth all the effort, isn't it? Absolutely. The butterfly method, huh? That's right, because we're going to take out the backbone and splay them open just like a butterfly. Hey, well, I would really suggest that maybe you have a professional that do this, although I am a professional. That working with these knives and in tight quarters like this, you can really injure yourself. So, you know, as I'm doing this, just make sure that you're you're safe when you're doing stuff like this. I think I'm getting down at the ready ready here. We got it. Look at that. Good job. All right. What's what's next? Well, if you can uh, dump these spices in the bowl sure. while I grab the olive oil okay. here for a little extra flavor. Mix this together. And I'm assuming that's going to go right onto the fish. Yep. Are you sure you're doing okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's no big deal. We'll just put about half on this one and half on this one. Um, it's looking a little parched here, so I'm going to add just a little bit more oil. And then I'm going to use a technique called the tickler. Tickler? Also known as the keyboard. Why do they call it that? Because it's like you're playing the piano or the keyboard. You just work it in. Let's fry this up. So we've uh, preheated the cast iron skillet uh, to medium. I can see it starting to smoke now. We're going to add some oil. There we go. And then we're gonna add these fish fillets seasoning side down or skin side up. Yeah, that's a nice sizzle we got going here. And then if you got room in your pan. I also like to, ooh, that's a slippery guy. I like to add the head. Uh, for a little marbleization, just to give the um, platter a polished, polished look. So this has been cooking about 10 minutes here, which should be long enough. We'll just give it a flip. Oh yeah, that looks nice and blackened. I think this guy, you can maybe just yeah, he's just fine just like. Okay, so now that he's been cooking another three minutes or so on the skin side down, we'll flip them over for just two more minutes on that side. Right. Hey, Joanna? Yeah? Are you okay? I think I'm getting the vapors. I think you need to go have a seat. Here. I think you need to get out of the kitchen. You're not looking good. Go. Hey, Joanna, how you feeling? You mm, know, it's a little itchy. Here, take these. This is what I, a couple of tongues. It always helps me when I don't feel so good. Okay. Can you chew them? Yeah. Hey, Sandra, I don't think these tums are doing the trick. Um, I think you should call 911. Right now? Yeah, now. Okay. No, 901, I need some help immediately. I got a, I got a friend in a really yeah. bad way here. Hey, old uh, Sanj. Uh, so I want to give you a quick update on uh, Joanna. She uh, did end up going into what they call 
an anti-galactic shock. Uh, they, they took her away, rushed her out in a gurney uh, where she wasn't breathing and was being revived uh, by a pacemaker. Um, but, you know, Joanna knew that this is a very tough and deadly industry. And I know that she would want us to uh, move forward and not worry about what happens to her. So that's uh, what we're going to do. We're going to finish this dish for her and we're going to make it the best possible dish that we possibly could make. All right, hey, let's uh, whip up the, this marmalade sauce. Uh, what you're going to need for this is uh, one stick of butter, some Old Bay seasoning, some chili flakes, and some Saraguchi sauce. Go ahead and throw all that into uh, one of these saucepans uh, and then let it simmer. And we're going to pour that right over the fish. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Now this is what you're going to end up with. It just looks absolutely incredible. Hey all, so it uh, looks like in the midst of all the, the chaos and ruckus going on, it uh, might have gone slightly overcooked. Uh, let's go ahead and get, get this thing right off of the cap. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and plate this. And then we'll go ahead and set up the presentation. Hey, y'all, well, will you take a look at this? Wow. The sheer elegance, polished look. Look at that. Looks like the fish is still alive and intact covered with the greens and the cheese and the marmalade all right folks let's let's dig in let's put some of this marmalade on there now that we put that down look at that wow some of that au jus on there all right everybody the moment of truth um let's just go ahead and dig in and see what we got here a little cooked here Well, folks, I would not lie to you. This is award-winning. This is incredible. Joanna, you are absolutely right. Everything set perfectly. You put this in a contest, you have an automatic winner. Um, so with that, you guys, uh, please try it out at home. See if you like it. I'm going I'm to actually go back and finish this. Have a glass of wine, kick back, and enjoy it. Um, thank you. Please subscribe. If you'd like to see something, or please uh, reach out. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time on Cooking with the Sun.